What's up, YouTube? This is Fourth Star TCG, and I figure it's about time for me to do one of those whole collection videos again. So, uh, figure we're gonna do that. It's gonna be fantastic, and show you guys every single PSA graded card my, I have in my collection. Um, probably the vast majority of these are gonna be PSA tens. I have a bunch of nines, but uh, I figure I'll leave those out because you don't want me going through PSA nine English EX full art all that stuff over and over again. So I'll just show you guys the tens as those are the ones that I really take pride in. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna show you my entire Pokemon card collection, uh, PSA graded collection. I have a ton of ungraded stuff, uh, but that's <laughs> we'd be here for days if I was going through all my ungraded stuff. So we'll just stick to the graded stuff. Uh, this first video, I basically collect two things. If you did not know, I collect uh, the the EX series and the new EX and full art and that sort of in the black and white to XY era. So that's what you're going to be seeing. This first video is going to be the Japanese and English EX series and the next video is going to be the uh, Japanese and English new full art, um, secret rare, all that fancy stuff they have in the, uh, in, the, in, the new, in the new era. So I figure without any further ado, let's get into it. We'll start with the Japanese, which are these two big stacks. Move into the English, right here, which is the smaller stack, and uh, then we'll just hit on a couple very small things that are sort of outside of the uh, collection uh, boundaries. So, first card we'll start off with, we got Umbreon EX from Golden Sky Silvery Ocean, PSA 10. I won't linger too long on these cards. Um, this is This is one of my favorites, absolutely love it. Just beautiful. So it's, I'm so I'm so happy to have this in my collection. I actually I purchased it for a insane amount off of eBay about a year ago or so. So that's awesome to have in my collection right there. Next up, I think I might have these in order. I'm not sure. The last time I last time I actually did something with these, but we have the uh, Gem Mint Ten Scizor EX from Golden Sky Silvery Ocean. Another amazing card. Japanese EX series, I might just talk a bit as I go through these. Japanese EX series, unless I find something amazing. Uh, Japanese EX series is extremely hard to come by in any reasonably good grade. Um, you should be, if, if you have these cards, you should be happy with 9s, let alone 10s. They're so hard to find. Um, should I do, should I explain why they're so hard to find? Yeah, I figure I will as I go through these. Um, the reason they're so hard to find is Pokemon was on a huge decline in uh, Japan during the uh, years of the EX series. Um, unless I find a majorly awesome card, I will just continue to go through this right here. Um, yeah, so Pokemon was on a major decline in the uh, 2000s when the EX series was being printed. Um, no, that's okay. All right. Sorry, excuse me there. thought I saw a crack in one of the cases. But, um, yeah, so Pokemon was on a big decline in Japan during the uh, time of the EX series. So as such, that led to uh, that led to less sets being printed because you sort of you base everything on a uh, supply and demand, of course. So if there's less demand, you create less supply. Just a simple laws of business there. Beautiful hollow on this Moltres. I don't know if I can pick it up, though. Um, yeah. So, based on the laws of supply and demand, there were much less uh, packs and cards printed. Um, check that out. Rockets Mewtwo EX, Gem Mint 10. Not bad. <laughs> this is one of, my, uh, one of my favorite cards in my collection. So awesome to have this. Um, so it was on a big decline, less cards printed, uh, and the people who were involved in Pokemon were players. So they, they took all the packs, they opened them up, they threw the cards into their decks and all that stuff. So as such, the cards that were the the cards that were opened up and were from that area were disproportionately used for playing. So of course, you know, if you if your cards uh if your cards are used for play, generally in not very good condition. And uh that is what happened. So a lot of the cards that you find, you if you are able to find these cards. They, they're, in, they're in heavily played, played condition. Uh, these cards were not very much saved by collectors at all. Um, check out that first edition Mew EX in a PSA 10. 
absolutely beautiful. So these cards were not were not preserved by collectors on mass. Uh, and I mean, anybody who knows anything about the uh, Japanese EX series knows it's basically impossible to find packs, and that's because well, they were all opened. Um, so all the packs were opened, and that, the packs these days are like thirty, forty bucks a piece. Um, they're incredibly hard to find. This is Pop One, Ladios EX from EX Dragon Frontiers, another one of the crown jewels of my collection. Um, these are so hard to find uh, because the centering was so terrible. Uh, so you combine all the issues that I've just talked about with uh, incredibly hard to find mint cards, incredibly hard to find cards at all. Um, and then when you do find mint versions of these, they're often terribly off-center. So you can see this one does not have that issue. The centering is very good on this one. So it's able to achieve the gem mint 10 grade. So... Uh, well, there's still the Japanese uh, EXs do have that print quality advantage. Um, so if you find a mint card, you have a higher chance of it being a uh, or it coming back as a PSA 10. Beautiful uh, play ho oh there, it's fantastic. Uh, so you do have that going for you. It it on mass it is easy, very much easier to score Japanese cards in a PSA 10. I believe this is Pop 1 as well in Unlimited Edition, so that's pretty awesome to have that. Uh, so just Japanese EX series, incredibly hard to find, incredibly hard to find in mint condition. You guys are seeing all the 10s. Um, you might get the impression that this is actually mislabeled. It's not first edition. Uh, still very beautiful. You guys might be getting the impression, since I have so many 10s, that it is easy to get these cards in a 10. Um, it is not... <laughs> You guys are seeing the tens. You aren't seeing the. I, I don't even know how many I have in boxes and binders and all this stuff that are just terrible condition. Um, I try to buy mint ones, but often you don't get mint ones. <laughs> Beautiful Rayquaza. This is really hard to find from the gift box. Almost through the first stack. Check out that play promo Rayquaza. Beautiful. Um, yeah, so these cards are just so hard to find. Uh, I I really enjoy the... Uh, ooh, check that out. That's a $1,000 card right there. First edition PSA 10 uh, Clash of the Blue Sky Latios Gold Star. I have all three uh, first edition gold stars. There's the I have the Latios and the Latias graded. Uh, I won't spoil the grade on the Latias, but uh, I also have the Rayquaza. Here's a Rayquaza. Just have it sitting around. There's a first edition... Uh, Rayquaza Gold Star. It's actually... The condition looks really nice when you hold it like this. Um, take a look at the back, though. You can see edge wear. Uh, pretty serious edge wear. Corner wear. Probably most evident at the top there. So I don't think I'll be grading this card. I think I'll just find like a really nice holder to put it in. Or uh, something like that. But there you go. There's not a sight you see every day. Uh, first edition Rayquaza Gold Star. Uh, those are very hard to come by. All the uh, first edition gold stars are. Uh, this this was like the first card that I uh, that I thought I that I sent off to be graded. Um, so this was what about it? Probably about a year ago, year and a half ago, that I sent this off. But mint nine, uh, Laddie S gold star. I was hoping that would come back a ten, but once it came back, I saw the centering again. Here's the uh, first edition copy, my first edition copy. Near mint to mint eight, incredibly happy with this grade. Um, these are just these are so hard to find that an eight is a very respectable grade uh, on a card like this. We have this. I figure I'll have to send this in for re uh, relabeling because it says Deoxys Hollow should be Deoxys EX Hollow. Um, kind of annoying, but at least they did label it the correct uh, number forty five. Gardevoir EX from Miracle of the Desert, another beautiful card. Very happy with this. I do have a complete Miracle of the Desert set. Don't have all the EXs in a PSA 10, but I'm working on that. I think I have two right now. Uh, actually, I don't have a complete Miracle of the Desert set. I need Typhlosion EX. A um, little bit ahead of myself there. Uh, Gem Mint 10 First Edition uh, Miracle Crystal Swampert. 
right awesome that one right there and the last one probably my favorite card this is this is this is my favorite card ever printed I'd probably say it's my favorite card in my collection right now gem mint 10 salamence ex from dragon frontiers another pop one um, incredibly hard to find I, I, a couple people have asked me what I would price that card at um, I really don't know personally I would not let it go for um, excuse me while I just fit all of these back here in the stack um, I frankly I don't know what I would let I would I I wouldn't let it go so there's there's really you can't put it it's priceless um, I, thousands thousands at least uh, you can tell me I'm nuts for that but that's what I'd value it at and since I'm the only person with it I get to set the price point uh, next up continuing with the Japanese EX series haven't sleeved these cards yet um, if you've seen my BCBM I got these past two cards another shout out to uh, Rayquaza TCG Rayquaza TCG for uh, sending me these cards which I purchased from him of course there's the other uh, Miracle of the Desert PSA 10 EX that I have. Getting into a couple of gold stars here. Gem Mint 10 Mudkip from Rocket Gang Strikes Back. Rocket Gang Strikes Back is probably the set that I've completed the most in PSA 10. Mew Gold Star Mint 9 from Dragon Frontiers Unlimited Edition. Eventually I might send this one in for a regrade as... It's like you, you guys see the centering, how really nice that is. And I'll take it off camera, give it a quick look. I really, there's really nothing wrong with this card. So it could be a very easy, uh, it could be a PSA 10. And I just love to have a 10 of that card. But 9 for now, I'm very happy with the 9. And there's another look at that from Dragon Frontiers. I believe this is, yep. There's the Charizard Gold Star, first edition from Dragon for Tears. Another card where a near mint to mint 8 is a extremely respectable grade. So very happy with that. Of course everyone would love a 10, but as a low resource collector, I would say, um, I don't have a ton of money on hand all the time. I usually wouldn't have the 200 plus dollars to spend on a mint charizard gold star even so if i had 200 dollars wouldn't guarantee it come back a 10 and all that um, i actually traded for that charizard gold star at worlds um, first edition uh rocket scissor x gem mint 10 another card where a uh, 10 is very respectable into the rocket gang strikes back cars we got a rocket hitmonchan x in psa 10 now we're getting into like the really nice stuff right here. I already showed you my why is my Rockets Mewtwo in that stack and not in this stack with the other Rocket King cards? <laughs> Who knows? Gotta do some organizing. Here's our Rockets Entei, first edition from Rocket Gang Strikes Back. Check that out. First edition Rocket Suicune EX from Rocket Gang Strikes Back. Got the Rocket Sneasel EX. Is that focusing in right? Yeah. There's the Rocket Sneasel EX from uh, Rocket Gang Strikes Back. Rocket's Raikou EX, the PCG promo. It's very hard to find. Uh, I haven't seen one, or at least a mint one, in all the sites I've looked at. Um, Yahoo Japan, every single Japanese site I've looked at. Uh, eBay rarely ever comes up on eBay, and when it does, it's not in mint condition. Um, so this is an awesome card to have in a PSA 10. Into some more Golden Sky Silver Ocean. Blissey EX right here. First edition PSA 10, of course. So that's awesome. Really love that card. I had that card as a kid, so awesome to have that in a 10. Check, uh, check this out. <laughs> Another one of the one of my favorite cards in my collection. Seem to have a lot of these. Um, <laughs> oh man! But yep, the Lugia EX from Golden Sky Silver Ocean, Unlimited Edition Gem Mint Ten. 
not bad. Not bad in the slightest. Getting down to the last couple cards here. Flight of Legends. Ooh, this is an awesome set. Uh, first edition. Yes, that is first edition. Mr. Mime EX. Probably not a very valuable card, but I'll take it just for the purpose of set completion. Um, Gengar EX. Another Flight of Legends card. Beautiful first edition. Whoops. Yeah. These last two cards, show them together. Just for the hell of it, we got Articuno EX and Zapdos EX. Flight of Legends, Gem Mint 10, both of them. They are first edition, as you can see. The uh, hollow on these is really nice. I don't know if I can catch it, but it's just, it's, you know, the hollow on the level X cards, like the Japanese level X cards. That's what this is. That that's what this hollow is. It was sort of like sparkles all over the card. I don't think it can pick it up. Sort of through the glare and the sleeve and the PSA case. But yeah, these cards are so hard to find. Um, again, I would never sell it. <laughs> Uh, I do need the Moltres, and I'll complete the trio. That'll be awesome to do that. So that's it for the Japanese part. We still have the English part to go, which is much smaller. Um, I included my Mint 9 Gold Stars in this, just because, I mean, <laughs> I don't have any Gem Mint 10 English Gold Stars. <laughs> I had a uh, I had a Mewtwo, Gem Mint 10 Mewtwo, but I ended up... Uh, Trading that to a good friend of mine for a PSA 10 uh, Mega Rayquaza Full Art in English. Had this card for a while. Uh, this Kyogre Gold Star, I bought it when I first started collecting again. So, awesome to have that graded. Here's a Kyogre X. Uh, this has an awesome story behind it. You can actually can actually find the video where I opened this card up out of a pack. Uh, it's the first EX card. I'll just... Lie back there as I talk. Uh, it's the first EX card that I ever pulled myself out of a pack. As a kid, I never, I didn't buy packs. Um, they were too expensive. I, my parents would never buy them for me, and I didn't really, I wasn't so into it that I would ask for packs for Christmas or my birthday or something like that. Uh, so I'd never, I'd never, I mean, who knows? I highly doubt that I ever opened up an EX card as a kid. I had EX cards from trading with friends and stuff, but, um, I never opened one up out of a pack. So that was the first card, first DX card that I opened up out of a pack. Uh, I don't know if I can, it's, uh, I might link the video in the description uh, if I feel like it. But yeah, so and it's awesome to have that come back as a PSA, uh, PSA 10. Vaporeon Gold Star. A little bit older in the uh, cert numbers here, but... This is pretty awesome as well. These are getting these gold stars getting much more valuable um, as everything uh, everything as the market wheels of the <clears throat> wheels of the market turn. Flareon gold star, another mint nine. I feel like I could regrade that Kyogre, the Kyogre gold star, and have it come back a ten, but who knows? Uh, Alakazam gold star for me, X Crystal Guardians, a nine as well. Gem Mint 10 Salamence EX from uh, Dragon Frontiers. It is my favorite card. It would be kind of sad if I didn't have it in a PSA 10 in, ja in uh, Japanese and English. Um, yeah, so this is my favorite card ever printed as of this time. Absolutely, it highlights just everything that I loved about the EX series as a uh, as a kid. Got the amazing Delta species. Salamence is a water type. That's just awesome. Uh, yeah, so this is this is my favorite card. So, very happy to have that. My cat's in the room now. Hello. Uh, Gem Mint 10 Articuno EX. Uh, I usually enjoy having the, uh, having the same cards in Japanese and English in PSA 10. Give me a second. Oh, my cat wanted to jump up. <laughs> Alright, next up we got a Rayquaza EX. Gem Mint 10 from EX Dragon. Awesome card there. Just got that one in Japanese, so it'll be awesome to have that in a, uh, in a 10. Here is Zapdos EX from Fire Red Leaf Green in a PSA 10. 
So as I said, I like to have the same cards that I have in uh, Japanese and English in the uh, same grade. So if I get a card in Japanese in a PSA 10, I'll really enjoy getting it in English as well. I have one Beckett graded card. This is the only Beckett graded card in my collection. We have a 9.5 Gem Mint Regirock EX from EX Hidden Legends. Um, I sent this in to cross grade at PSA. It did not come back a 10. I set the minimum grade at a 10. Um, kind of stinks as I really feel like this card is worthy of a PSA 10. But PSA is the uh, <laughs> PSA is the authority. So who knows? I don't want to spend the money to regrade that. It's it's a mint card. That's really all that matters to me. Um, I love the 10, the uh, certified 10. Here's here's the uh, couple Japanese E series hollows that I have that are sort of off the uh, off the collection track, but I'll show them to you guys anyways. We got the B drill. Here's Crobat. And the last two are pretty awesome. Umbreon. A beautiful, beautiful card there. And last but not least, we have, uh, where is it, Raikou from Split Earth. These are all unlimited edition, which is rarer than first edition for these E-Series cards. So that's pretty awesome. Um, as I said, I do have a lot more cards. Like, here's the stack that I will be sending to PSA soon. I mean, you can just check this out. I have all these more cards, these uh, Japanese EXs that will be going off. Uh, there's a Raikou Gold Star, some play promos, some more EXs. Um, so the collection is ever more expanding, but these are all the graded cards I have for now. I very much hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you have any questions, be sure to uh, comment and I'll do my best to answer. And none of these cards are for sale. Um, you can find things for sale at my eBay, which is linked in the description, but none of these cards are for sale. Uh, highly doubt that they would be for trade unless you have something that I would like, like a very rare PSA 10 Japanese EX. So, thank you guys very much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe, and stick around for more videos.